Hello, this is Matthew Roundell here, and in this uh, Python for My recipe, I'm going to look at how we can actually access uh, the shader, a shader connected to an object and the attributes um, uh, of that shader, and edit the attributes of that shader. Okay, uh, that may seem quite a straightforward thing to do, but in order to do that using Python, you have to follow a bit of a breadcrumb trail in order to do that. So in this case, what we're looking at is uh, we have an object called uh, Color Cube in front of us, uh, and what I want to be able to do is just access the color, read what the color of that cube is. Okay, uh, and this color is just defined just using a, a straightforward Lambert shader. Okay, but uh, in order to do that, um, we know that our transform uh, node. Uh, so this is the node that, that positions this object on the stage is called color cube. But what I need to do is I need to find the mesh node, uh, uh, the mesh node that is connected to that transform node. Uh, uh, and it's the mesh node that obviously uh, uh, is, is the actual um, define contains the actual cube uh, mesh that we see here. OK, so to do that. Uh, we can simply go, I'm just going to go and. Here we go. Uh, so we can just go uh, to, to find the mesh. In fact, I'll call it uh, object mesh, just to be better. OK, so to find the mesh, uh, what we want to do is we want to list any relatives um, of uh, this uh, object here, of the transform node. OK, uh, in fact, I might just call this uh, transform in order just to kind of make things easy. Uh, just to make it a bit easier and obviously I'm going to call it transform here okay uh, these are just variable names obviously uh, but I'm trying to give it sensible variable names so you can see what it is um, I'm just gonna um, you can actually have multiple meshes connected to a transform node uh, uh, that's kind of another level of complexity so I'm just going to assume that it's the first mesh that we see connected to that transform node uh, and that there's just one mesh basically connected to that transform node okay but you can have multiple ones uh, uh, so in order to get that first mesh I'm just put that on the end here which basically means uh, this element will give me a list of all the sorry this command here will give me a list of all the meshes connected to that transform node and then by putting this on it on it I'm just saying just give me the first one and the first one is will always be indexed by zero so just give me the first uh, uh, transform node in the list uh, sorry mesh node in the list uh, let's print that out so I'm just going to go uh, print obj uh, mesh uh, let's just do that uh, in fact I'm going to put it in brackets because uh, I think uh, Myra is now moving to Python 3 and we need to behave ourselves. Okay, uh, so you'll see, uh, yeah, uh, so you can see uh, color cube shape. Okay, uh, and if I click on here on the attribute editor, you can see, yes, it's color cube shape. So that's giving me uh, the correct piece of information there. Okay, great. Let's move down. So now what I need to do is I need to find the shading engine that's connected uh, that's connected to this object okay so this is the engine that's being used to uh, shade i.e. render uh, 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 the object uh, the object okay so we use this line of code here okay hang on uh, I'm going to try and make my I might have to make my text a little bit smaller here in order to be able to see everything Yes. In fact, shall we just get rid of the outliner for the moment? Let's get rid of the outliner for the moment. And we can just close this attribute editor actually for the moment. Okay, it's fine. So, um, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to call, I'm going to call it object SE for shading engine just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, so all we're going to do is we're going to go command list connections and just list uh, uh, so we're listing the connections for this object, okay, uh, which should be, sorry, obj mesh. So we're listing the connections for uh, this object here, uh, for this uh, object mesh that we, we found last time, so uh, uh, for this mesh. Uh, and, that, and, and, the, and, and the connection type that we want is shading engine. Again, we could have multiple shading engines connected to it, so there might be different shading engines. Uh, rendering different faces of the object, for example, we're just going to go and and grab the first one. Okay, so let's just output this uh, obj se. Let's have a look and run that. Okay, so there you are, Lambert three sg. So it's a Lambert three sg 
uh, shading engine that's in there. I'm not sure if that comes clear in uh, in this, but you can see that it has the Lambert 3 material there, okay? Uh, if we went to the hy hypergraph connections, you would be able to see that, but I'm not going to go into that right now, okay? Um, then what we want to do is look at the material that's being rendered using that shading engine. So that will be the Lambert 3 material, okay? So you can see you've got this kind of shading engine step in between, okay? Um, so... Okay, so I'm just going to call it Object Matte to kind of make things a little bit easier. And again, we're going to list connections, and this time we're just listing um, uh, uh, connections connected to the shading engine. Uh, and I don't think we've got to list any type. We're just listing. We're just listing the shader. Uh, uh, it, we're just listing the first item that's connected to it, and that should be the material name. Okay. Again, I'm just going to type in Object Matte. Let's do that. Okay, and you can see there we are, we've got Lambert 3, uh, which as we just saw previously, that is the material that's connected to it. Brilliant, okay. Uh, okay, so now we've got the shader. So that's how we access the shader. Uh, now what we want to do is actually uh, look at uh, attributes that are connected to that shader. Um, so we can use that, we can do that by doing a get atter. So let's imagine I want to get the uh, color attribute of this Lambert uh, shader. So uh, I'm just going to go uh, OBJ uh, coal for color. Uh, and then we're going to go um, CDMS. And we're going to use the get uh, atter command now to get the color attribute. Okay. Um, the attribute that we want to get is going to be uh, OBJ. So the object we want to get the attribute on sorry uh phone call there right okay so we need to specify the uh uh the actual um shader that we want to get the color attribute on so that's this object mat or object material uh as it's short for uh uh, uh shader or material as it were um and then what we want to do is we just want to go uh, plus. Uh, and notice how I'm using this sort of convention here. Uh, so I'm naming the object that I want, and then I'm using a string here. I go dot, and then the name of the attribute that we want to grab. So I think it's just going to be color. Okay, uh, straightforward as that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is just go obj col. Let's just print that off. Okay, you can see uh, that it's printing out the color here. So we've got half red, uh, no green, and half uh, blue for, yeah. Uh, let's just say I want to change this to green then. Uh, what I could do is use a set atter. So I'm just going to return here. I could use a set atter. So I could go um, cmds.setatter uh, command. And again, I want to set the color. It's this attribute that I want to set. So it's the color attribute of this uh, OBJ uh, matte. Uh, um, material that we've got um, and then uh, I want to set it to uh, I want to set it to green so if I go uh, I'm just going to specify each of the RGB channels now so uh, in a row like that so that's my uh, that's my red that's my green and that's my blue color uh, let's just run that okay and you can see we're changing the color here so I'm actually able to manipulate um, uh, the shader attributes for this. Okay, um, uh, if you're trying to kind of work out what 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 the shader attributes are, you can easily just go. Uh, if you just go into material attributes, uh, so you go into our Lambert three, and if I twizzle something like color, for example, you can see that it gives it up here. It says, "Oh, it's Lambert three color." Uh, it actually gives you the name of the object as well, uh, which is quite useful as well. Uh, so it says it's a color, it's color. Uh, and if I try other things like that, transparency. So you can very quickly find out what the name are, what name is for these different attributes as well. Okay. So what if I wanted to do a similar thing, but like um, do it for uh, an object that had a uh, file, uh, a, a, a file texture. Uh, uh, was using a file for, for, for texturing it, okay? Uh, uh, so to find the file that's connected to this object, uh, obviously this is a, a different object. This is called uh, TextCube. I'm gonna just check it in the outline here. Uh, yep, yeah, call it TextCube for texture cube, okay, fine. 
Uh, so it's a different object, so I just need to change the object that I'm doing here. But everything else should run the same, except for the fact that now I'm not dealing with um, a, a single color. Uh, I'm actually dealing with a file node that's now connected to this attribute, uh, um, uh, to the color attribute. So I've got another kind of node to go through, okay? So again, I can just use this, um, uh, uh, this list connections command, okay? So you see that this list connection command is quite useful here. So, um, uh, so for the material file here, I'm going to go list connections, and again, I'm just going to go object obj mat dot color and whatever what is whatever is connected to that. Okay, uh, I'm just going to print that out. So let's just do a print uh, mat file. Okay, let's just run that bit of code. Uh, so yeah, you can see here we've got file one connected to it, uh, uh, which is correct. Okay, uh, and then what you'll see is the file name, the actual name of the file connected to it, is an attribute of the of of the file. So this file one isn't the name of the file connected to it. This is the name of the file node. Uh, is it worth me going into the hypergraph just to show you that? Hopefully that's clear. Uh, so what you'll see here is blah 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 blah, and if I click click on that, th this is the file node uh, that's connected to that color, and you can see that that file node is called file one. So that's what it's listing. It's not listing the file itself. It's listing the file node. Okay, but the actual file uh, where that file is uh, is is an attribute of the file node. So we want to go uh, and use get atta to get that attribute. I'm just going to reduce that. Okay, so let's do that. Um, okay, so I want, I'm going to go, uh, I'll just call it file uh, path, okay, uh, equals cmds dot get atta. Um, and uh, I want to go uh, mat file plus um, and it's file texture and in fact so so yeah one of the things uh, so again um, if I just bring this up so you can do a similar thing here if I just change the I'm just gonna just reduce this down if I can I want to window this you're gonna let me window yep that's fine something like that okay so obviously it's this node that we're looking at Okay, now the reason I just want to show you something here is if I go and just change this, let's just do a quick little tweak here. Okay, in here, uh, you'll see, okay, it's going to give me an error here. Uh, in fact, let's just put it, can I just put it back? Correct, brilliant, okay. Uh, but the reason for doing that wasn't to create an error. The, the reason for doing that is so that we can see this set atta and you can see that the property it's setting here is file texture. So that's the property that we will use. I'm just gonna go control C uh, and I can then just paste that into my script. So it's file mat plus. So you hopefully you can kind of see the approaches I'm using uh, in order to kind of get Maya to give up its secrets, if you will, uh, so that we can change things. So now if I go and do that, you can see, um uh, sorry i'm still referring sorry i'm still referring to the um uh the material uh color here sorry i did some control z's at some point which have uh changed this back to looking at the material color so let's just put that back uh, so I just need to fix this material file command again um, so what we were looking at we were looking at uh, list connections blah 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 oh, no, that should be correct yeah uh, not sure what I was doing here but anyway uh, no I just want to print off uh, file path Okay, so that should work correctly now. Yeah, you can see uh, it's coming up here and it's telling me that this is the file that I've got connected to it. Uh, and, and indeed what we can do is we can use set atta to change that file. So um, I can go cmds dot set uh, atta um, file plus um, I'm just going to uh, set it, uh, sorry, it's going to be uh, this one here. I'm just being a bit lazy here. 
that's fine okay and we're going to set it to uh i've got another file in there called wall so i've got another file in the same folder just called wall so i'll just change that to that um Obviously, this isn't the best way to link to files on your Maya project. You, uh, uh, on a Maya file, you should use a proper Maya project, but I am just simplifying my life a little bit uh, uh, with this. Okay. Um, so if I run that now, okay. Oh, there is an error. Let's just see. Um, what you'll find is because this is, we're not setting number a number here, you actually have to tell uh, Python what... Um, uh, uh, what the actual type of um, attribute, what type the attribute is. So if it's not a number, uh, you need to tell um, Maya what type of attribute it is. So we just need to go type uh, equals uh, string. That's all we need to do. Okay, let's just do that. Kaboom, there we are, and we've changed it to a wall. So uh, yeah, that's how you can access the shader that's connected to an object uh, and how you can actually edit the attributes uh, uh, of that shader and edit the attributes of uh, things like file nodes which are connected to that shader. Okay, thank you.